So come come down to Vicky, huh? So is Vicky? Yes. Yeah, so Vicky, Vicky. Okay. I want to show you all something known as Vicky. You all, uh, do you all do you all have a group project? You all do you all have a student writing? For example, you have divide a student into ten groups and then they all write a project. Yes. Yeah. You have it, right? Yeah. So do you all use Vicky? Okay. Now suppose in the olden days what we used to do in UMS, we used to ask the student to prepare projects. I should divide my class into six people and they all came out with their, their project, right? And then everyone named. But who contributed? We don't know. Usually there has to be one person contribute and remaining five people hang on. With Wiki you can track who contributed what. So Wiki is actually Wikipedia inside our LMS. Okay? So we have Wiki. So you have a Wiki which is here. So you add an activity or resource, you click here, Wiki. Wiki, okay, add, add the wiki, okay, okay, wiki, Wikipedia. Now, what I want you all to do, right, I want you all to take the role of student in that demo course. You all take the role of student, I will assign you all to do the wiki. You will see how it actually works. Zul, you assign them. Okay, so, uh, wiki, right, it's just for demo at uh, FSMP, FSMP wiki, demo FSMP wiki, okay. Simply wiki. Okay, just create, uh, just write the instruction there. Liberty wiki. Okay. Okay. In the description to the student, you must say in the wiki. For example, this wiki, this wiki will be uh, about food processing or about food chemistry or whichever. Okay. So group, uh, uh, you have to give them topics, five topics. So topic one will be done by Dr. So and so. Topic two will be done by so and so. You need to give them clear instruction in the instructable uh, section in this section. Okay. Topic two, topic three, topic two, okay? And then you click display description on the course page. Okay? Okay. Go down. Go down, go down, go down. First page, first page required, yes. Okay, and the title can no longer be. Okay, first page name, right? Okay, okay, right, done, 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 format. Just go down. First page name, just give it a, say, just write uh, FSMP. Just put, a, just put a random text, okay? Just put format. Common module settings, okay, everything okay by default. We have no groups here, so everyone can contribute, restrict access, okay, activity completion required, yes, yes, okay, the date, okay, change it to 10 Zul as it may be hang, enable it and change to 10 as it may hang, change it to the day after and text, okay, competencies, okay, this okay, no. okay, save. Upon completion of activity, you can say, uh, attach evidence, send for review. Okay, so just do nothing. Uh, send for review. Send, send for review. Yeah, send for review. Okay, save and display. Okay, now you will see. Go to the main page, main mic, uh, the main course, this course, demo course. Okay, now I want those of you who have enrolled for this course, you go in and you click, click here, <laughs> click on this demo at SMP wiki and you add anything, you will see a window coming up there, you can add stuff. Okay. So you can make it turn, okay, demo at FSMP. You can click on that, it will be a little bit slow and you can add in stuff there, you can add in a text, you can upload an image, you can add in some stuff there. Create page, right? HTML. Create. Yeah, create. Wait, wait for a second, huh? It'll load. System is a bit slow. Okay, so now this is your FSMP page. So you all will create the page in your respective. Just go and click and create. Click. So they will see, right, Joel? You can click. They, they will click their wiki. Yeah. Can you click and see? Can you click, Dr. Baba? Uh, information that someone is editing this. Oh, okay, okay. You can add, you can add also. Is it? You can edit, you can add. You can add, you cannot edit. No, at the moment is Someone is editing. Oh, no, I can't. Okay. Add, add. You can click on edit, 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 edit. On edit. You can click. Oh, someone is editing. Zul, you can log out. Zul, you can, you can, uh, that, that thing, that, that because they are saying someone is edited. You can comment on it. Comment. You can comment. 
can comment, you can click comment, you can add, add a comment. This is a report. Okay, just click some. No, don't, don't, don't delete. Okay, when you do wiki, don't delete the other person's edit. You add to that. Uh, so everybody is everyone adds, 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 adds. Okay. okay. So when you are, Zul, you can show the page. So when you are editing, right? Don't edit out other people's text. Let their text be there. You add to that. Okay. You, when you are editing your wiki, you will see other people putting in text. You don't remove their text. You add more text. You don't, you don't delete other people's text. Their text will disappear from the wiki. It's a live page. Click here. You click here. Don't, don't add. When someone is editing, you can't edit. <laughs> so somebody has edited. See, this is a report. Somebody has written here. So, Doctor, you add something and then you click and enter. Okay. Add something else. Just add, but don't delete his other Dr. Baba. <laughs> he will get. <laughs> yeah, when, some, when somebody is editing, you cannot do <laughs> because it blocks you out. Uh, that's the system. So, one person at a time. One person at a time. That's why you do it in a group, you know, who is doing the other stuff. Okay, comments, you can add comment, you can comment something. You can't comment? You can just say, please modify this, uh, please modify section so and so, it's a please modify or something like that. Refresh all again. Only two. Wait for more comment and I show you how it works. Rovina, you cannot, it's saying editing, someone is editing. If, if, you ask, if it says someone is adding, you can add comments, comment section, comments. You can add, you can add, add something, but don't delete what they add. Okay, see. Okay, see, Dr. Babak added here, Adila added here, Jumadi added here, Dr. Jumadi. So you can see which student is adding what. Even if they delete, you can see what they deleted. So, this is a very good way to assess the student whether they are all contributing to the project or not. Okay? So, in the, in the system, right? You can click edit, Zul. You can click edit. Okay? Okay, click here. Click the, the link, the links, the embed. Embed is not there. Embed. Open the embed. Embed. Okay. You can embed the... No, no, embed the video there. Go to the video. Go to the harvesting grape. Okay. Uh, click the video. Embed code. You, no, no, you, no, no. The embed. Click the video only. Extract the embed code. Okay, embed. Embed code. Embed. 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 Copy. Okay. So go down. Enter. Control V. Okay. Safe. Okay. Done. Okay, so report, report the uh, refresh. There. So the, everything is being added as you go along. Okay, refresh, so, and you should see the. So how big is it? Is the file if you? It's Wikipedia. You can make it as big as possible. Oh, okay. Yeah, because the text only file. You can also embed images and videos inside. Because uh, HTML. <laughs> okay. Now people edit, right? So comments, click comments, Zul, comments. So you can see the comments from different like, students. Actually, you know, the, this is used because of something known as connectivist model. You, have, you, you all are knowing of the different model of the teaching and learning, right? Con actually, they have a constructivist model which we use for constructing knowledge based on the topic. For instance, uh, you have enzyme, then what is the allosteric? You have uh, content, right? You build up content, that's construction. Actually, nowadays, the students are using what is known as connectivist model of learning. Connectivist model is, means all the students have their own strength. For example, somebody is good in enzymology, somebody is good in the equations. They will all come to class and they will contribute their knowledge and connect it together. So the, what the class is, is the connectivist element rather than the constructivist. 
So this Wikipedia actually en encourages that connectivism. So the student each contribute one part. And sometimes they can actually add to your lecture. This one you can actually copy and put in your course file. And you can improve your course in the next semester. That's the way it does. That's why the wiki is designed for that. Okay, so this shows you comments. You can click history. History, so. Okay, history will show you all the students who contributed to the wiki. So you can do your grading. For instance, you can give them a rubric which says that, oh, if you contributed uh, 10 lines of text, you will get so many marks. So the rubric is there. You can do a rubric for this. Okay, I will show you how to make a rubric in the next. Okay, so these are your rubrics. So you have your, uh, you get your five maps, map, you can map. Okay, okay, so you have the map of what is there. Go to file. Loaded though, not yet. Yes. If they upload any file. Okay, so you don't have any files, so administration. So you can edit their file, but generally when the student submit a wiki, you just save it as such and you uh, use the log to determine the mark. Okay, so the particular wiki. Is it clear or is that? Okay, so once the student, for example, you told a student to prepare wiki and you designed, you had, a, for example, a class of 100, you told them to develop 10 wikis and made 10 groups, okay? But each group, you give a clear set of instruction. For example, the 10 members of the group, group one will contribute to the introduction, group two will contribute to the uh, content within and so on and so forth. So you have 10, so you assign them the wiki. So you uh, give them the wiki out, you launch it and give them a deadline. Once they, come, once they achieve the deadline, you go back and you see, you assess them based on the completion. So the completion can be tracked using the history icon. You see the history icon? Click on the history. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is basically the users, the user version. So each version will have you click on the version one. You will see, you will see the first. Okay, you will see the first version of before the edit. So if you edit it second time, you will see it on the second version of the edit. It's it's uh, because it's uh, using a HTML based system. So okay, see. So he has edited this part, right? Viewing page version one. Okay, restore this version. Okay, so he modified this part of the text. Okay, go back to history. So go back to the history. Okay, see. Because you all are adding, uh, because are, you all are in a trial version, you are adding short lines of text. When a student adds a large amount of text, you can actually see it. So now, see, the history. Go to the history. Go to the history, sir. Okay, so these are versions of the document as it has been edited. So it's going through cycles of editing. So, okay, click on, uh, for example, click on three, three. Okay, version three. So version three has been edited. So this is the version three. So if you have version one, and then it has added a certain time and somebody modified and made version 2, you can actually see the change in the version because the what is tamba to that? I, I understand you understood? Because I am thinking as a student, that's why I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're seeing that. I mean, if you want to take over, then you can take over and you can, I mean, we can give control of that. But the thing is that, okay, this is a, wiki is a older version of Google Docs. In Google Docs, you can see it uh, more clearly. In Google Docs, you can see who's editing live, but this is the older version, which is the HTML-based version. So if that's the case, yeah, you can use Google Docs. Yeah, we yeah, you can, you can Google use, you can Docs. use. But then you'll have to embed your Google Doc into this system. Okay. In Smart Tree, you can provide an active link one. Yeah, you can do it for that. But some lecturer may want to see it uh, on the. They want to create a log file. You see, the system is maintaining this log file. This one, the history log file. Some lecturer wanted for their course file. Course log. Then they go out to Google. They can actually get a log file from there, but maybe they are feel uncomfortable that it's outside the system and then going inside. So we give you this option inside. But if I was doing it like uh, I would use Google Docs because Google Doc will track history. Oh. The other one is this one. I just realized that whilst my colleagues are doing whatever they're doing, I can't yeah. do it. Yeah. It locks you out because you it doesn't want to override edits. Uh, yeah. 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 Ye
it, it doesn't want you to override the other edit. So that's why the student have to work as a team and they do it together. So they cannot do it simultaneously? No, no, it locks out other students. Google Docs can. Google Docs can, but Google Docs also allows you to overwrite. So both of the system have the issue of overwriting. So you have to have your domain. That's why when you give them the, uh, the instruction, it should be clear that uh, what, who does what. Like who, which student does what. No, we don't have a. T uh, actually, uh, the Moodle Moodle has the option to use turn it in. So he, anything you send in, right, you can turn it in because most of the student will copy and paste. But we don't have that because we don't have the licenses. He, so if we have, uh, if you are using, are you using turn it in? Do you have a license? You all have, okay? Because mine previously, I had a license, but recently terminated because they have not paid the fees. So turn it in, uh, switch off. So. I, under UMS only, but we cannot link. So I have to go and ask my colleague, do you have the license? Do you have the license? And then I give my, give my postgraduate thesis for them to... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you have it. Oh, okay, okay. So some of us don't have, some of us have. So we go and ask. Can, no, in Smartrick there's no, but we can plug it in because there's a plug-in for turn it in. Because that's the major thing which is students are copying, right? They copy the and paste mostly. So you can have a plug-in, but we, this one we have not put it in because there's no money to buy the licenses, enterprise licenses. Okay, sorry, sorry about that. Okay, so that's about the wiki. Okay.